Hey there, geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to do our best to explain to you the difference between Windows DCH drivers and standard drivers. We're going to use NVIDIA for the example here because NVIDIA is the one driver in particular that's causing some problems with a missing control panel. So let's talk about this real quick and we'll move on. DCH drivers are designed to be smaller, to install faster, and to be cross-compatible with embedded PCs, Microsoft Surface, tablets, desktops, laptops, meaning that one driver, that one DCH driver will work on everything. Now, that's a great idea in theory, but for some reason, apparently with NVIDIA, the actual control panel is not included with the DCH, apparently it won't work on all devices. Meaning, if you download the DCH driver, you actually have to download the NVIDIA control panel separately from the Microsoft Store. I know there's a bunch of you in there going to say, I hate the Microsoft Store. I feel you, and I appreciate you. But just go there and click Get, and you can get it. There's a lot of downvotes on it. It doesn't make any sense to me. It's the same control panel. It always has been. It's a lot of people complaining, rightfully so, because they don't understand why they don't have the NVIDIA control panel. That said, if that's your problem, um, check the video description for this. Here's how to find a missing NVIDIA control panel. We actually discussed the drivers with a video. And I'm going to actually update that a little bit more today now that we have all this information about DCH and standard. So make sure you get the right driver. And there's a couple other ways if the driver isn't your problem. One question people are asking us quite a bit is, okay, I have a standard driver. Can I install the DCH driver? Yes, you can. You can install it over it. There you have it. So here's some more information. If you want to feel free to read it. I'm not going to waste too much time. But here's the DCH. It looks like it was written by an engineer or a highly overly educated person. Seems a lot more complicated, but that's programming for you. And of course, we have a link, which you just saw, for the GeForce drivers for Windows 10. Now you'll notice, let me get rid of this. You'll also notice everything's 64-bit now for Windows 10. The NVIDIA GeForce drivers are only standard. So you're not going to see a lot of people with Windows 7 having a problem with no control panel because of their drivers, because it's not an option. DCH is a Windows 10 driver. So you're going to start, start seeing more and more of it. Trust me, down the road, it's going to end up taking everything over. So if you're bored, go ahead and click the link in the video description and you can read. Or you can just pause the video, I guess, and read all this here. And here's a little bit of a description of it. So hopefully this fixes a lot of confusion and problems of quite a few arguments with people about why they don't have the control panel in NVIDIA. This is why. It's frankly not rocket science at this point. You've got to get the driver you want. So once again, I'm going to let you out of here. DCH, you're not getting the control panel. Standard, you're getting the control panel. Decide which one you want, and we've made note of this and updated our GeForce drivers to explain that to people as well to hopefully help them out. So hopefully you now understand what a DCH driver is. Windows 10, smaller, faster, compatible across multiple devices. However, and again, Intel and other people are putting out DCH drivers, and if you're expecting maybe their control panel will be missing too. I don't know. NVIDIA is the big one right now. It shouldn't be. So there you go. I hope this helps you out and explains this whole DCH. Where's my control panel? Standard, blah, blah, blah. I hope I got it right for you. Bottom right corner, Major Geeks logo pops up. I have to throw this in. If you click over there, you can subscribe to Major Geeks. We appreciate that. Leave us a comment. Let us know how you made out. Let us know if we helped you. Thanks for watching. See you.